Hello, this is Somyangi Yadav and you are watching Straight Up by edX Life. On Saturday, January 27th, the University Grant Commission released draft guidelines for implementation of reservation in higher education institutes for public feedback. The guidelines sparked outrage over de-reservation of SCST posts in universities for faculty recruitment. While both UGC and Ministry of Education have issued clarification that faculty positions in universities reserved for SCST and OBC candidates will not be open for general category, in our conversation with MS Netrapal, an IRS officer and author, we try to understand what these guidelines were and why they received backlash from the academic circles. What do the existing guidelines say about de-reservation? There is a lot of controversy over these guidelines in the last two days, especially over the de-reservation policies which has been proposed in these guidelines. So now I had a look at these guidelines and I first looked at like what is this guideline replacing? So for every guideline there will be a guideline before that. So I went into it and then the original guideline on the reservation policies in central universities was released by UGC in 2006. So remember that it was released in 2006 as old as that and now we are seeing this change which is being proposed in 2023. So I had a look at 2006 guideline and I saw whether this something called de-reservation is there or not in the guideline and surprisingly I noticed that there is nothing called de-reservation in that guideline. The de-reservation has been proposed freshly in this new guideline and it has never been in the old guideline which is there from 2006. What does de-reservation mean and how does it work? De-reservation is just opposite of reservation. Reservation is like giving quota to SCHT OBCs. De-reservation is taking out quota of SCHT OBCs. So how can you do this? You can do this by converting this seat. See, SCHT OBC seats can be converted to general seats using the process of de-reservation. The seats can be converted to general seats. When can it be done? It can be done especially when they, there are no fit enough candidates from SCHT OBCs. Like for example, it's a general practice which we have noticed in many universities where the candidates attend the interview but they are not found suitable. They are not found suitable for any positions and those seats become available for this de-reservation. What do the guidelines say about de-reservation process for direct recruitment? I went into the DOPT guideline and then and then the, remember this DOPT guideline has been released in November 6, 2003. This is as old as that. So now in what does this DOPT guideline tell? The DOPT guideline it mentions that Whenever like there is a uh, the para 3 of the OM, I am reading directly from the OM, it tells that where a sufficient number of candidates belonging to SC, ST or OBC are not available to fill up the vacancies reserved for them in direct recruitment, the vacancy shall not be filled by candidates not belong, belonging to these communities. In other words, there is a ban on de-reservation of vacancies reserved for SC, ST, OBC. So, it is very very clear that there is a complete ban on de-reservation of vacancies reserved for SC, ST, OBCs in direct recruitment. When and how can de-reservation be applied? This OM itself talks about is that in case if the seats of SC, ST, OBCs are not filled, so they are going to be carried forward. They are going to be carried forward and then they are going to be called as backlog vacancies backlog vacancies which we, which can be filled up later on so that what happens is if this is done the percentage reservation does not change substantially so that was the idea but the om also talks that in certain cases like for example very very rare and exceptional cases which especially in group a services where you cannot leave the post to be remain vacant in public interest you can resort to de-reservation but this de-reservation can be done only with the approval of the National ACST Commission and National OBC Commission. So a clear-cut procedure has been defined. So that first it has to go to the National ACST Commission or the OBC Commission, go to the Ministry of Social Justice and then finally it has to be placed in front of the concerned minister to de-reserve. But 
what does the ugc guideline tell the ugc guideline tells you can de reserve just using the executive council of the universities and the, the ugc guideline also proposes that it can de reserve group c group d but while while in the original oim it is very clear that only it was proposed for group a group c group d and all there was nothing like any proposal and for group c group d the the proposal was that just with the approval of the liaison officer the de reservation can be done i i also had a look at one of the supreme court judgments where in mandeep kumar versus uh, union territory chandigarh civil appeal number 1908 of 2022 it also talks that whenever a de reservation has to be done it has to be done with the approval of the department of social welfare or the national ssc commission you cannot bypass the authority so any de reservation which has not been followed using this procedure will be null and void that's what it tells so in this regard so that is where the dopt om dated november 2023 what concerns does de reservation create in central university recruitment here in central universities is that they follow a 13 point roster so this has been a huge debate that 13 point rosters create a a debacle for the reservation so i had written one article on this where i clearly mentioned that the 13 point roster reduces the reservation directly to 35% from 50% for scst overseas that is because the roster itself functions like that so whenever there are small cadres so what happens in the central universities is that they divide this uh, divide all the departments into various small units like for example if it's physics chemistry and then they decide reservation based on every unit now that has been removed by the central act central act has completely removed this anomaly so wherein wherein it is clearly told that the entire teacher's cadre should be considered teacher's cadre means a, a teacher who are getting the same grade pay irrespective of the branches we all know that many central universities were following 13 point rosters so now when de reservation and 13 point roster operate together then it can be very dangerous why is this for this we have to see the 2003 om uh, para number 4 where it is it clearly differentiates the carry forward of backlog vacancies for in the case of 13 point roster and other rosters what this tells is in the 13 point roster you can carry forward maximum for 3 years and after that the backlog vacancies expire but in the other type of rosters it tells that it cannot expire it continues forever so we all know that in central universities especially now the cases are pending banaras university allahabad university we have seen that most of them follow 13 point rosters so what it directly leads is that the seats which are not filled up they expire and then they can be de reserved they get converted to general category post so this is where the problem of de reservation comes in so this is where the 2006 circular had clearly told that we should not do uh, any any such kind of a de and there was no policy of de reservation at all there and then also it clearly mentioned that the teacher cadre should be considered for the entire uh, department entire unit as such and not department wise the concept of de reservation created outrage among the academic community especially at a time when the recruitment of faculty members from reserved categories was already low to recall as per the information given by the education ministry in 2022 In one year between September 2021 and 2022, 23 IITs and 45 central universities across India were directed to conduct a mission mode recruitment to fill up vacancies in teaching positions reserved for SC, ST, and OBC candidates. During this period, 1,439 vacancies were identified, against which just 449 recruitments were made. That is all from us today. Do like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Mask up and stay safe.